just the other side of uh, Hobart. We're staying at uh, Longley Hotel. Longley Hotel, which is uh, just a free camp next to a pub. Just got to take a meal um, while you're there, a few drinks, whatever. Um, it's turned cold here. It's turned yeah, very cold. <laughs> Bloody freezing. But anyway, um, we're here at Mona. It's a, an art gallery sort of situation. Um, Apparently weird. Yeah, and uh, if we can show you around, we will. Uh, they might not let us, but uh, here we are. Report back. Yeah. <laughs> Over there seems to be something interesting. That's a thing. It's a concrete truck made out of ornate balustrade. Pretty cool. Uh, you have an app that you download when you come here, and when you get near to something that you don't understand, you press the O on the app, and it brings up that piece of artwork and explains everything about it. And what it's called. And what it's called. And this is called the Kit Fall. And it's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. It spits out words. Water. This one's called Glassworks. And the structure's and actually the moving. The structure's actually moving. And things are going to tip down. And that's all well. How weird. It's called Glassworks. Yeah. And it stinks. 
and apparently it does approve at 2 p.m. So we do. So we've missed it. Probably a good thing. My brain hurts. Well, we've arrived at the Longley Hotel. Um, it's a uh, free camp, but you have to uh, purchase a meal and a drink. Uh, it is really nice. Uh, it's in the Huon Valley, uh, right by a river. You can hear it in the background. Uh, yeah. The weather's changed a bit since we left um, to, or early this morning. Um, so a little bit colder down here, but yeah. still really nice. And um, we went to the art gallery at Mona, which is about 25 minutes from here. On uh, the other side of Hobart? Yeah, it's actually a museum. Oh, sorry, a museum. Um, or whatever, yeah. But yeah, we'll show that in, uh, in part of this episode. So, um, yeah, I'll just uh, walk you around and show you the river. So, it's a nice little river. Too bad it's too low to fish. But uh, this is our setup right next to the river. And <clears throat> it's virtually in the in the car park of the Longley Hotel. They they own the property. So you have to have a meal there. And it looks pretty cool. I um, went in there before just to talk to the barman just to see what's uh, going on out here. And he gave me some rules and regs and said um, yeah, just come and have a have, have a beer and a meal. So that's what we're going to do. There you go. There's a few here, just probably overnighters. Uh, you can stay 48 hours, and uh, that's about it. So we go to the pub there and have a little drinky food. Seen better days. But, uh, I think it's steam powered, maybe, still, or diesel. It's still floating. <laughs> it's still floating. 
just a bit worse for wear, I think. Wow. There's the jetty. Yeah, I wouldn't even like to be standing on this side, I think. This is the tree it has actually the buttress has grown over a rock. Wow. How about that? And the tree ain't no small tree. Have to be 150. Probably 200. here at the Richmond Caravan Park, which is uh, a caravan and cabin park, just out of Richmond. You can probably walk there if you're pretty fit. And uh, yeah, we're here for one night, and uh, we're going to be looking at the Richmond Bridge, the old jail, and having a look around town. We've come for a wander around, and we're in Richmond, um, which is just up the road from where we're staying. Uh, we were actually staying in Richmond at a caravan park overnight and we just come for a little look around Richmond. And we're doing the old Hobart town. Which is uh, a model village. For little people. Little people. Yeah, Very le little people. Leprechaun village. <laughs> Here we are. This is actually a, uh, the model of a town 10 years prior to Port Arthur. So Sullivan's Cove. Hold on.
the fish are in Paykel. <laughs> what a dry combo. <laughs> <laughs> John, John Williams, Williams, drunk and disorderly, or disorderly conduct. 25 lashes and 7, seven days of consultancy. Solitary confinement. Australia's oldest bridge still in use. 1823. 18, oh, so it's about to turn, what, next year 200 years old? Yeah. Red wings, red. 
He thinks he's skiing. <laughs> Look, it's more button grass. <laughs> so we've moved on and we're staying at White Beach Caravan Park and we've come out for the day to have a look around Port Arthur. So we'll show you around.
Afternoon all, we've just finished our tour of uh, Port Arthur. It was magnificent. Magnificent. Um, I couldn't believe how uh, intact it all is and um, yeah. So much to see. We've spent pretty much the whole day. Uh, we got here at nine, it's now half past three. Uh, we did a, a cruise just out and around uh, Isle of Dead and uh, we've been walking around taking thousands of photos ever since. Morning all. Um, we're uh, at White Beach still and we're going out for a bit of an explore today. Um, there's a, a lot in the area to explore. Yesterday we went to um, uh, Port Arthur and we spent the whole day there, which was really, really good. And today, where are we going, Fee? Uh, a number of places. We're starting off at the dog line and we're going to see some caves. We're going to see lookouts. We're going to see blowholes. Maybe some chocolate. Yeah, we'll see some chocolate. Um, <laughs> what else is there? Some path? Tesla path? Tesla path, yeah. It's a, a really nice natural uh, rock formation uh, that you um, do a bit of a photo shoot at sunset, which is apparently spectacular. So we'll, yep. we'll have a look at that. Let's get into it. Yeah. See ya. We're going up to the dog line. Just a short walk from the car park. Eagle at Hawk. Eagle Hawk Nick, and at this point it's only 70 metres wide where they used to have uh, mastiffs patrolling the area so the convicts couldn't escape from Port Arthur. This is the only spot where they can get off this peninsula. Other than swimming? Yeah, and uh, they used to tell them stories that there were sharks in the water, which there isn't. Well, there probably is, but not a great deal. And uh, I yeah, don't want to find that out. and most of the prisoners didn't know how to swim anyway. So there you go. And there was a hut around here. 18 dogs. Solving the puzzle one by one. The uh, 11th Apostle we found him here at Fossil Bay. And according to the bloke next to us in the caravan park, Wally, this place is 
the best fish and chips ever. And it's, hold on, I'll try and show you. It's a caravan at the uh, Fossil Bay lookout where the blowhole is. Best fish and chips ever, I'll let you know. These are called bump stops to stop you from parking on the footpath. They do a good job. Yeah, no. Just have a shot at a tag. Righto, we've come down to the Tasman National Park and uh, we're at the Remarkable Caves. Just to go, about to go for a 15 minute return walk. Just showing you some of the coastline, which is really, really nice. Come on, slow coach.
See, Mandy, I don't like the bumblebee. <laughs> it wasn't a bumblebee. It was. <laughs> These two are going for it in the haystack. And once again, we see the rare cutest asses, blundus chickas. Rarely seen in the wild, but there's a few around the Richmond Jam. <laughs> Here we go. Got Dolly Parton with us. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, that's our number one in Tassie so far. <laughs> Take 975. <laughs> oh.